Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Seeing as it's the end of the month, it's time to do a quick catch up on what's been happening in the fish room during June. June's been a quiet month in the fish room. I was expecting uh, quite a big order to come in for Max Cichlids, but obviously with what happened with Max Cichlids, uh, he's now closed down the business and uh, it's not happening. So um, yeah, the, there's no new fish coming to the, the fish room this month. I have been trying to thin down some of the tanks to make room for the shipment. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's a bit thin on the ground this month, uh, but we'll have a quick look anyway, see what's happening. I have collected little bits of fit, uh, footage throughout the month, so we'll, I'll show you them as well. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. As you may remember, I had a group of Cuban cichlids uh, and lost quite a few of them. So I was left with just the one, uh, put it into a different tank and lo and behold, it's not an, a Cuban cichlid at all. It's a Hasiensis, a black nasty. Anyway, I only had the one, so I took it into Rick a Predator Aquatics because he had some females. This is him in the tank with the female. And this is only after about 10 minutes. So as you can see, they're lip locking and getting to know each other. So hopefully these two will pair off. And you can see the little tails going, <laughs> which is quite amusing. And so this is the Costa Rican tank. Um, the only thing that's been happening in this, this month is uh, the, the Mineri that they, they've bred again. Uh, not unusual for them. <laughs> I, I haven't saved any of the fry this time. I, I've, I have got one group growing on, uh, which is just about ready for, uh, to, for size now. Uh, they're about an inch, an inch and a half in size. And... Fish in this tank, as you know, there's the the, the Phyrichthes passionis, uh, the Nicaraguensis, uh, there's the tuba, uh, and the, the, the sword tails. So the Phyrichthes, they, they're getting a bit bigger now. Um, so I hope in the next month or two that, that they'll be showing signs of breeding. I know I say this every month, but yeah, uh, it's they, they are getting to size now. I think what I'm going to do actually, I, I might thin this tank down, uh, maybe take the Nicaragua Gwens out and put them in another tank and make a bit more room for the uh, Phyrichthes Passionis. They're all lovely fish. The Rainbow Cichlids, uh, the Phyrichrobus Lewisalli, or Fred the Starlight, but we're calling them Lewisalli, um, and the, the, the Cuban Cichlids, uh, they're in this tank now. They're growing on nicely now. Yeah, again, I might thin this tank down a little bit. Uh, the, the rainbows, they, they haven't been breeding there ever since I put the Lewis Sally in there. Yeah, so I might thin this tank down a, a bit and maybe try and get another, another batch or two off the rainbow cichlids. and cichlids, they're coming on really well as well. The pollen eye, uh, the spawn that they, they had last month uh, with the eggs and unfortunately none of them hatched. Uh, they, they're probably about ready to go again now. Uh, the male, he's been the olive colour all month. Uh, last day or two he's actually gone to the black colour again. Uh, the problem is the female, she's hiding in the back all the time. Uh, when she does come out for food, she's looking a little bit beat up. So uh, I might take her out for a couple of days uh, and then put them back in and hopefully make the other spawn again. Uh, that's, that's what I did last month. And this is a tank that uh, needs a little bit of work doing on it. And it, yeah, it, I need to put some more rocks in there, some more hiding places. And it did have quite a, a few fish in there that I've actually managed to, to move on. Uh, so yeah, what's in here at the moment? It's the, the Tapajas Redheads. 
uh, which actually look like they're, they're getting ready to spawn. I'll put in a little bit of footage about those. The Amatalania Alta Fluvi. Uh, I've put the tree over here and out here so they've got a bit more room, but yeah, they're not showing any signs yet. The Corridorus, uh, they're growing on a little bit more, so they might try sexing those ones and try and get them to breed if they're during the next month. Yeah, this is the tank with the, uh, the chocolate cichlids and the Geophagus. Sedimentus, uh, chocolate cichlids, they've, they've had to go at spawning again, I'll put some footage in for those. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're getting ready again. Um, yeah, it was a successful spawn this time, but I didn't take any of the youngsters off them. Um, after last time, there was only about four or five uh, fry. So yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a failure for me, really. Um, but at least now I know that they are breeding regularly. Uh, the colours in them look really, really nice. Um, there is another pair as well that are staying down the other end of the tank, if you can see them. And the Sedimentus, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing really well, they're putting on a bit of size. And so they're, they're about five or six inches now. So this is the tank with the spare pair of Nicaragua Gwensis and the two pairs of Cutteri. The colours in the Cutteri, right? Eh? The colours have really popped on there. <laughs> the Neotropic listed, they've spawned again. Yeah, the, the garden, the fry here at the moment. And Believe it or not, there's still some fry from um, when they spawned a couple of months ago that I wasn't able to catch. The male make it fences. You can see some of the fry there. So this is uh, the, the grow out of the Nicaragua Gwens Fry. Um, so these ones, yeah, so that's the end of March. So yeah, they, they're growing really well. Uh, they're about an inch in size now. Uh, about ready to move on to a bigger tank. Yeah, so as, as you might recall from the last video I did, it's the um, it's the Norfolk Cyclic Group's table sale show on Sunday, Sunday the 4th of July. Uh, this is the tank of the, all the stuff that I'm putting in, so hopefully this tank will be empty uh, on Sunday night. So I'll be able to move some stuff around, give some of the the youngsters a bit more growing room uh, and get stuff ready for, for the, the, the next couple of months. Yeah, so it's the... The multi spinosa, the rainbow cichlids are in here, and um, the, the Neotropolis Neotropolis fry. Uh, the, the, there's some cutter eye fry in here as well, somewhere. Yeah, the last thing to show you is the, the, the Hogas. Um, yeah, she's actually laid eggs again uh, uh, about a week and a half ago. 
um, with the same results really. Uh, but Mel wasn't interested. Um, yeah, so she spent uh, like five or six days actually guarding the eggs. As you can see, she's still got a coloration on. Um, but yeah, it's he's just not interested. Um, so yeah, as soon as there is any news on these ones, I will let you know. Yeah, so that's that's it for June. Um, as I say, there's no new species coming to the fish room this month. Uh, it's a bit thin on the ground actually going around the fish shops. It, it's, nobody seems to have any sense of American cichlids in at the moment that I'm interested in. Um, I have got some things on order. Uh, hopefully they'll come in in July. So yeah, we'll be able to have a look at those at the end of July, if not before. And hope to see you all on Sunday. See you next week.